Genius Kids. Cultivating Love for Learning. Chapter 5 The Southern Plateau. Learning Points. Knowledge Acquisition. After completing this chapter, we will be able to know about the Southern Plateau of India, the physical features and location of Southern Plateau, the Deccan Plateau, the life of people and climate of Southern Plateau. Introduction The Plateau region is situated to the south of the Northern Plains which is known as the Southern Plateau. A plateau is an area of flat land that is higher than the land around it. It is also called a tableland. This tableland is important to our nation due to its productivity in agriculture and industries. It slopes from west to east. Location The southern plateau lies to the south of the northern plains, entering up to Kanyakumari, the southernmost tip of India. This region is triangular in shape and covers three plateau regions, namely Malwa, Chuta Nagpur and Deccan. It is bordered by hilly regions called Ghats on the western and eastern sides, called as Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats respectively. It is also bounded by several hills in the north. The Aravli Hills are to its northeast. The whole plateau region is quite rocky and uneven. The southern plateau region is divided into two parts by the Narmada River. The two parts are Central Highlands in the north and Deccan Plateau in the south. Physical Features of Central Highlands The Malwa Plateau is in the northwest part of the southern plateau and lies between the Vindhya and the Aravli Hills. This region is rich in black soil which is good for growing cotton and oil seeds. Rivers like Betwa, Chambal and Sun flow northwards and join the Ganga and Yamuna rivers. The State of Madhya Pradesh and north of the Narmada River lies in Malwa Plateau. The Chota Nagpur Plateau lies in the northeastern part of the Central Highlands. This region is rich in minerals like coal, iron ore, mica, manganese, bauxite, and many more. Dense forests cover the region. Useful forest products like wood, gum, etc. are found here. Coal deposits are found in Rani Guns, Jharia and Bokaro. The big steel plant at Bokaro is situated here. Mica is used in electrical goods. Bauxite gives aluminium after purification. The Deccan Plateau The Deccan Plateau lies to the south of the Narmada River. It is the largest part of the plateau region. It has rich black soil. It is bounded by western and eastern ghats on either sides. Both the ghats meet at Kanyakumari in the southernmost part of the country. Rivers of the Plateaus The western ghats are source of Deccan rivers. Many rivers drain the plateau region. The Krishna, Kaveri, Godavari and Mahandi flow from west to east into the Bay of Bengal. These rivers flow eastwards as the Deccan Plateau slopes from west to east. The Godavari is the biggest river among all of the Deccan Plateau and is considered one of the most sacred rivers of India. Rivers Narmada and Tapti are exceptions and flow in the Arabian Sea. These rivers of the plateaus are fed by rainwater. They might be flooded by heavy rainfall or might dry up to lack of rainfall. The Metu Dam on the Kaveri River is the largest irrigation project in South India. The Hirakud Dam on the River Mahandi and the Nagarjuna Sagar Dam on the River Krishna are also very famous. Kaveri is known as Dakshina Ganga in South India. The river swiftly flowing into the sea from beautiful waterfalls on the way. The Jag Falls on the river Sharavati in Karnataka are the highest waterfalls in India. 
The hills of the plateaus, the Vindhyas and the Satpura hills separate the Indo-Gangetic plain of northern India from the plateau region of South India. The Western Ghats are known as Nilgiris in Tamil Nadu, Kod in Karnataka and Sahyadris in Maharashtra. The Mahindragiri is the highest peak of the Eastern Ghats which lies in Odisha. Anamudi is the highest peak of South India lies in Kerala. States across the plateaus, the Malwa Plateau and the Chhota Nagpur Plateau spread through parts of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha and Jharkhand from west to east. The Deccan Plateau extends to the southern part of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Tamil Nadu. Climate The climate differs from state to state. It is very hot and humid in summer and warm in winter in most of the parts of plateau regions. The rainfall varies from state to state. The monsoon winds bring rainfall from June to September. And the northeast monsoon winds during October and November. People and facts of plateau regions, as the Malwa and Chota Nagpur plateaus are covered by dense deciduous forests on a large scale so, tribal people like Gons, Bheels, Varlis and Bastar colonize here and live a very simple life. Men wear dhoti, lungi or mundu, achkan and turban, etc. and women wear ghagra, blouse, choli and sari in their own styles. People do farming, agriculture and mining. A number of fruits and food crops are grown here. The silkworms are reared on mulberry leaves. Coffee and tea are grown in Tamil Nadu and the largest producer of tobacco is Andhra Pradesh. In Madhya Pradesh, Panna has diamond mines and gold mines lie in Kolar in Karnataka. Maharashtra has a large number of sugar factories. Continuous Review The southern plateau lies to the south of northern plains, entering up to Kanyakumari, the southernmost tip of India. Deccan Plateau is the largest part of plateau region and rich in black soil. The Deccan Plateau extends to the southern part of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Tamil Nadu. Maharashtra has a large number of sugar factories. Like, share and subscribe.